Hello! Today we are going to be trying out some new CC that Alpici actually went ahead and tweeted me earlier today. We could have, and I don't mean to alarm you guys too much, I don't mean to worry you, but we could have improved spiral staircases. And you guys know how much the spiral staircases in The Sims annoy me. So, one wonderful Peachy that I did want to say thank you to, but I couldn't find the tweet, linked me to this tweet earlier on, which talked about the fact that there is some incredible mod modders that have been working on improved spiral staircases in The Sims 4. So the way that this is going to work is you need two mods for this to work. The first one is this one right here, which is by Ravashin, who is an absolutely amazing CC creator. They uploaded this CC in August, which is functional elevators. So you'll be able to place your own elevators on lots if you don't want to use stairs. And these are fully functional elevators that you transform any lot into an apartment or into a bougie home so that was the first thing i've downloaded because we're gonna need that for the next part of this which is are you guys ready for this check out these spiral staircases that are fully functional so these are small spiral staircases that don't take up quite as much space and they look like the spiral staircases of old. They look like the spiral staircases from The Sims 2. I mean, this is more of an artsy kind of one, but this one in particular has such strong um, Sims 2 energy, Sims 3 energy, that I'm just like really, really excited to give these a go. So these are semi-functional spiral staircases because from what I understand, I'm not, not sure if you're going to see your sim walking up them per se, but with the elevator mod from Ravishin, when you combine the two of them together, these spiral staircases will at least work. I finally made some functional spiral staircases. It's thanks to Ravishin's made encoding. Basically, you'll get four different staircases where the top and bottom are separated. They work like the elevator, so they won't be animated when climbing them, but they will get teleported upstairs. So this is what we're going to be trying today. This is currently an early access only. So um, I've, I've paid for Patreon so that we can go ahead and check it out. The public release for this is going to be on November the 28th. So it isn't too long. It will be coming very, very soon. Today, I thought we would go ahead and give these a go. Now, the reason this is like particularly like strongly in my mind at the moment is because recently I renovated the goth mansion and I had an issue where I really wanted to put spiral staircases in. But let me just show you guys my issue with spiral staircase in Sims. I think the way that they've done stairs now in Sims is far because um, you can do so much with your stairs now. Like all of this kind of thing is very cool. Been to move the stairs up and down like this is very cool. The stairs have like more functionality than they've ever had, which is good. I like that about the stairs a lot. However, I just feel like they I liked the way the thinner spiral staircases looked in the previous games. And also, if I want to like fully spiralize this staircase, I don't know, it kind of takes up quite a lot of room. It's kind of a thick sort of dealio. So that is like your standard sim spiral staircase. We'll keep that up for like reference. And now we're going to be having a look at the ravishing one. Ravishing. Now that we've seen what the regular staircases look like, let's go ahead and take a look at... First of all, I want to see the elevators be because functional elevators, very exciting. Obviously they exist in sims, but like you can't just like go ahead and use them yourself. So it's kind of fun to uh, have a nosy and give it a go doing it ourselves. So we got to figure out how to use the elevator first. Place these portals anyway and your sims will automatically use them. By the way, this was the other ravishing item. Remember the functional cook set where they put the little chef hat on? This is how you do it. You put that one downstairs with the body of the elevator and you put this one upstairs. How do I get my sim to use it? Is he going to go for it? Right now he's just playing with some butterflies. How do I get them to go in? Oh! <laughs> he can't walk. It's just going to come out the top. <laughs> I somehow totally missed that. Let's try this again. But let's remember how elevators work. Because apparently I've forgotten how elevators work. I mean, it's easily done. I am wondering if I got to delete this too to make it functional. Now, can you get to here? No way! Oh! Oh my gosh, it works. No, I know it, it's like literally it's its function, but I'm still like genuinely shook. Like what? Okay, that's really exciting. <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, so that's the functional elevator. Elevators, you know, they're cool, whatever. But we can do one better than a functional elevator. We want to go for a functional staircase. So let me just like move everything like over here for a hot sec. You guys hang out over there. 
my brain is trying to remember what houses look like, which is always a bit of a worrying first step, isn't it? So I am going to go for the one that looks the most like the OG stairs. Rustic wood staircase medium. Okay. Staircase tall. Oh, so there's two sizes. There's three sizes, depending on what floor, what size you've gone for. Okay. We only need shore and it's intersecting the floor of the ceiling. So how much room do I need to give it? Okay. It's three by three. It's three by three. So I need like an extra little bit. So let's do this. And then shore. Oh, <gasps> What? Okay. So that's cool. We've got the staircase, but I don't think it's functional yet. I think we have to put the top on to make it functional. Now, when you actually download it, it does come with gifts that explain how to use it, which let's face it, I kind of low-key need, don't I? Oh, surely that's not going to work. I don't know. I feel skeptical that it's going to work. Surely that's not going to work. Should I try it? That's everything that it needs. So let's check out the GIF. Okay, so it looks like bottom first, top second. Okay, so it's definitely a CC a BB objects on dealio. Can you climb the stairs? Oh, <gasps> no way. Okay, let me, I'm going to delete these walls because it's, it's taking up too much room. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> okay, so you don't get the animation, but the staircase does work. And let's go for a higher one to try that one out too. If you're like me and you kind of hate how long it takes Sims to walk upstairs, especially if you have a lot of simulation lag and your Sims kind of like to sit at the bottom of the stairs and just take a while to decide that they want to go up then you could be laughing with this you could be laughing okay let's go for long boy stairs and let's give those a go look look how little space that's taking up this is the difference look at that that you like literally if i want to do the equivalent of that like look how long the stairs end up being and look this goes around once twice it's like so I would say like, uh, if we're counting turns, one turn. Is it one and a half turns? Because you walk back up, you're facing this way once. Yeah, it's one and a half turns. And that is one and a quarter turns. I could do this once more, I guess. I want to see the difference in space. That's the closest I can get. I just want to move this one in. But for some reason, that's intersecting the foundations of the house. I don't understand why, but it is. Like, I'm trying to do a comparison of the stairs, but it won't even let me. And it won't, these are the closest comparison. You know what? This is how we'll do it instead. That is a diff, that's the difference of how much room these stairs take up. So that is basically four squares. And that is three by three. So four squares versus nine squares. It's a pretty big difference in terms of the actual size you can do, which I think is really impressive. That's the difference between those and the regular stairs, but those aren't the only stairs that even come with this pack. So because there's this as well, this is the modern staircase. Move objects back on just so I can place it. And that is, I mean, that is a nice looking stair. Look at that. That is nice. Like, you could make some seriously nice builds with this. Look, that is a gorgeous staircase. And then upstairs, again, is the exact same deal. We grab this. And... I'm sorry, this is so nice. That is spicy. That is really, really nice. We can make some gorgeous, gorgeous houses now. How nice is that? I almost wish there was, um, you know, like a little barrier here as well. Just because, like... I feel like people could uh, accidentally like fall down those, but it's so nice. Look what we're missing out on. Look what we could, look what the game could look like. I'm blown away. I am legit just blown away. This is so nice. So that's how it looks in that form. Um, and then in the long boy form, there's also a medium, but it's not quite as uh, extreme, is it? In the long boy form, it looks like this. And again, how many squares? So this one is a bit bigger, is it? No, it's not. Okay, we're going to try one last thing after this. Let's try a different color scheme now. Let's go for like a really like modern dark theme. So nice. And I think the space could still be usable. Let me like try and put like a piano under it. How cool is that? Oh, 
Oh, you could do such cool things under here. Oh, guys, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. What? That's so cute. It's like, it's like so functional. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I love this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, there is still another one. This is the architect, art, 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 <laughs> architect stairs. You place the bottom. You go upstairs, draw the fence, delete the floor, create the opening. And I think you've kind of got one final bit to place on the top bit. And place invisible top. And that's how you do these stairs. So we're going to try this one next. I'm very excited for this one because I think it looks really freaking cool. Right. So this one is a little bit harder to work out because this is the top floor. floor. Draw the fence, they said next. So it's very modern stairs. So I should probably try and go for quite a modern fence. Okay. One, two backwards. Let's try for one, two backwards. Okay. Almost there. I went one too far out, I think. I feel like I'm just like a little bit out, aren't I? Okay, that's better. And then there is an invisible top to place to make it functional. Okay, and then how was that top placed? Was it one across or was it all three? Let's have a check. Oh, I placed it right. Nice. And then that should be functional. Right, let's have a look at the swatches and stuff. Here we go. So we've got some... Oh, it's, all... it's the same ones as the others. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that. Look at these bougie stairs. What? Those marble ones are just something else. They, they are god tier. Wow. Okay. Now, let's check functionality. I, I can't see why it'd be any different, but we were playtesting today, apparently. Okay. And there he goes, straight upstairs. And then, is it the same dealio? Can I put stuff here? Are you going to watch TV? You're doing a lot of this business. Can you not access the TV? <gasps> it's like a different game. What? Okay. Can you tell I'm really freaking happy about this? Not only can you get the most bougie stairs ever created by Mon, you can also get these gorgeous, slightly death hazard, beautiful spiral staircases. And you can go from taking up nine squares on your lot. I mean, technically 10, because you've got this square too. To taking up four, four staircases, and they will walk up. Like, like, the time to get up these stairs versus this is just mind-blowing. And you can also get a functional elevator. That is just... I love this. I'm so incredibly happy with this. Okay, you can stack them. Look how much space you could save on staircases. I mean, technically you could save even more with a lift, but I actually don't think you can. I think the lift will be using the same amount of space. It's so tiny, the amount of space you're using. You are gonna unfortunately be left with a bit of a weird, my stairs are touching each other kind of vibe. Oh my gosh, it's like um Wacky Warehouse. It literally looks like Wacky Warehouse now. Or one of those water slides at a water park. I feel like I'm at a water park. He made it! Look at him go! Okay, this is wild. Right. It's one thing to be able to get to that floor. Can I get to this floor? Can I get to this floor? How about this floor? How about this floor? I think we have a fully functional Sims 2 style staircase. I don't want to worry you guys. But I think we have a fully functional Sims 2 style staircase. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. I'm freaking out right now. Okay. Right. That's great for our imaginary build. It takes up less space. It looks way better. It's You can put all kinds of things underneath the staircase and it remains functional, which is really exciting. But how about adding it to a build I actually have? How does it work if I try and do that? So this is my goth family mansion that I recently renovated. And one thing that really annoyed me is I ran out of space on the... Well, I didn't run out of space. I wanted to keep the top floor spacious I and not have that awkward staircase that was just like here blocking off access to all this part of the house if i wanted to do things the way i did and also um it meant that i had to use a ladder which i don't love so can we use this staircase to save an existing build the ultimate test and a spiral staircase here would actually be vibes i'm not gonna go for my gorgeous marble one or the beautiful modern curved one because this is the goth family mansion so it kind of makes sense to um fit their vibes and also, I'm going to go tall. So there is one more that we've not seen, actually, which is the industrial spare case. 
I don't think I showed you guys. We will switch this up. We'll put this bookcase here. And this little lumpy. And the staircase should still be functional, even if I do that. That's how it would come out. So the industrial one kind of has this sort of pattern on it. It's, it's still really nice. Um, but it's not right for the goths. Um, it was just to show you guys it more than anything. And let's have a quick look at the swatches. So, so if I do it in white, you guys can probably see it a bit more. This though, I think would be really cool for loft apartments. I think you could do some really cool loft apartments with this. <gasps> so excited about this, guys, as you can probably tell. But we're going to go for the wooden one. Um, we're going to go for the tall one because that's the size of the floors here. And I'm going to try dark brown because I think it matches our actual staircase. Let's change it on the top floor and then we will play test it because it should be functional. That's the coolest thing about the staircase. And then can she go up here? Guys, we've cracked it. Oh, we've cracked it. We don't need ladders in the goth family mansion anymore. And it, the camera still pulls you, so if you're following a sim, it will it will track them upstairs. I am so freaking impressed with these stairs. Actually, so impressed. So if you're watching on YouTube, I am going to put a link to them. It doesn't come out to the 28th of December, uh, of November 2021, which is the year we're in now. And a huge, like, wow, you're incredible, amazing to both um, Sim Boo Boo, um, S-Y-B-O-U-B-O-U. And also for Ravashin, uh, for originally creating the elevators, which make all of this possible. Let me know if you guys were as amazed as that as I was. I will drop the links in the description below. And I wasn't asked to make this video. This wasn't like they sent me a link or anything. I've paid for this myself because I wanted that functionality in my game so badly. And I am beyond impressed. Animations would be great, but sometimes functionality works over animations, particularly for me. And if you guys agree, give it a cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below.